What up ninjas? Just uh, chilling out at my academy and I was just thinking about uh, what is the most important, most profound lesson that I've learned on and off the mat in my jiu-jitsu journey. And I would have to say is that, and this is one I think about all the time because it comes up all the time in training, is that you don't meet resistance with resistance, you meet it with angles and opportunities. I'll say it again, you don't meet resistance with resistance, you meet it with angles and opportunities. So if somebody grabs and pulls, and then you pull back in the other direction, you're both pulling in, in two different directions, that's called a tug of war, right? Meeting resistance with resistance. So the, the stronger person is probably gonna win that. And you would have to use a lot of strength to win that battle. The challenge with strength is that it has a diminishing return. The more you use your strength, the less you have strength, right? So it's kind of like, if you start using a whole lot of strength, then eventually you're gonna run out of strength. You're gonna tire out. Like if I told you to do push-ups for five minutes or 10 minutes or 20 minutes, at some point you're gonna run out of strength. So it has a diminishing return. It's good to have strength. I'm not saying don't use strength at all. I'm saying it can't just be strength. If you're meeting resistance with just strength, at some point you're gonna run out of strength. But if you meet it with angles and opportunities, someone's pulling back. So instead of pulling, or maybe you pull a little bit to create even more resistance and then you change the angle. What happens? They go forward, you go to the side or go to their back. That's a very simple way of looking at it, but it's kind of profound when you think about it. You know, in life, off the mats, if you're driving in traffic and someone cuts you off and you're like, God damn that asshole or whatever, like you're flipping out, losing it because they're losing it, right? You're meeting resistance with resistance. That never ends well. You don't feel good. You don't drive away in, in a good spirit. So maybe you meet that resistance with an angle and an opportunity. It's an opportunity to maybe send someone else a blessing or send yourself a blessing, a, bless, a blessing of patience, a blessing of discipline. Just like on the mats, don't meet resistance with resistance. Meet it with angles and opportunities. So if you're going against someone a lot stronger than you, and they're using a lot of muscle to push forward, maybe you move to the side. You could use speed now. You could use angles. You could use it as an opportunity. And when you start to address challenges as new angles and new opportunities, it starts to create new doorways and new pathways for you on and off the mats. You don't look at everything as like, oh my God, it's the end of the world right now. Especially with everything that's been going on lately, you know, it feels like an apocalypse. But if you look at the original English definition of the word apocalypse, it means to reveal something. To reveal something, to show us something. Not to end something, right, necessarily. I mean, it sort of changed that to that connotation now, but the original definition, if you look at it, it means to reveal something. So there's an opportunity to learn something, right? Resistance can create an opportunity to learn something to better yourself. So whether you're on or off the mats, remind yourself of that, that you know I don't meet resistance with more resistance. That just creates more separation. I meet it with angles and opportunities, an opportunity to grow, an opportunity for a new experience, an opportunity to better myself, an opportunity to make my jujitsu more profound, to make my life more profound. All right, ninjas, chew on that for a little bit. We'll see you on the mats. Happy training. Os.